Hello, this is Adam. In this video, we're, we're going to show a simple flash programming of internal memory. Here, we're going to use the NXP Kinetis W31 processor. And not only are we going to program the regular flash with the code file, we're also going to add some seri serialization. So as usual, the first step is to open the GUI, select the vendor, here we'll select NXP slash Freescale, the Kinetis W family, and the 31 series, and a specific processor that we have. Now, in this setup, we have a configuration file that we loaded that has a code file already selected. So what we're going to do is just check the memory options. And this is something that you would usually do at the beginning of your setup, so you would choose which code to program. So here we're going just to say, uh, select regular flash memory. So you might know this will differ from uh, some of our videos where we show external flash. In this case, uh, there's no external flash, so your only option is for internal memory. Um, some of the options you can select is uh, what type of verification you want. Typically, the default option is fast verification, which in a normal scenario after you've written flash there will be a verification and the checksum will be done using firmware that's running on the target processor so this will be much faster or you can select a standard option but that actually involves reading back all the contents byte by byte rather than using like a checksum or a PSA and so that would be slower so by by default we go with the fast option uh, now in the configuration, uh, you can also look at the code file. So here we're just looking at the code file. This is what we want to program. What you'll see here is that actually auto program will not proceed. The reason for that is that I did enable serialization in the serialization setup. So you can open that by going to the serialization tab and click on serialization setup. What you'll see here is, is a couple things. Now, sometimes you can embed serialization into areas where code already exists. So you want to click the remove code contents in the location where serialization and model are defined. The purpose for that is simply that um, you can have a stub uh, with like empty values for that location, but if that area is defined in a code file, then serialization will not be written there. So you do want to click that option. Now the other, the second item is a file that stores metadata about which serial numbers have already been programmed. Uh, and what this will allow you to do is uh, program many chips uh, and make sure that you are not reusing the same serial number multiple times on different chips. So as a serial number is programmed, information about that will be saved in this output file. And that information will be used to subtract serial numbers from an input file. Now the other things you can do is uh, define the, uh, where the serial numbers will come from. So here, where that's a serial number format. So here it will be from file, it will be 10 characters in ASCII format. We will program this serial number to address 10,000 hex. Another thing that we can add is also uh, like a model slash group revision information. And the way this differs from a serial number is that this, this doesn't change, right? So whereas we're gonna have a input file that provides serial numbers and that file there will be let's say a hundred serial numbers or each of them being different this revision is it's just the same every time and this will be some custom text that you might want to add okay great so now that we've uh, reviewed the uh, setup what we want to do is we want to specify the input file for serial numbers and as you can see, this is basically a simple list. Um, here, there's actually uh, 60 numbers. Uh, however, the 43 already have been used, and now those are saved in the output file. So those 43 
were subtracted from the input file so now you're left with these remaining 70 numbers and this can be anything this is just the uh, test values you could put something like MAC addresses here if you want and use serialization to program MAC addresses okay so this we have 17 left now you'll notice that uh, the code file field is filled serial number field is filled and we'll see that the next model revision will be test label which is what we had in the setup the next serial number will, will be 44 okay so let's proceed with auto program uh, again it's all the regular steps which is uh, first uh, verify access then erase the flash uh, then make sure that it's blank as we mentioned uh, in other videos you can't program flash that has not been erased uh, so that erase step is necessary the blank check step is not necessary but it is, it's an extra sort of layer of uh, security but you can disable it with the check mark if you're looking to save time next uh, write now first it's written the main code is written so this would be the the line from the top so this would be like a test 16 kilobyte uh, code after that uh, separately we write the serial number and then we verify now if verify passes then all this logging information will be saved and the serial number will actually be subtracted if you use the same parameters again and so these are the extra steps here we have write serial number writing label verifying checksum reading label reading serial number and, and so this will be a successful run in that case now we're going to read the memory by hand now again this is just something for yourself uh, it's not necessary the verification uh, for the code is done using checksum and PSA and for the serialization is done uh, byte by byte so let's scroll down to address 10,000 hex and here we go uh, we have the serial number and the label now with, seri with serialization uh, what you want is you want to program the same code file but you want the serialization to change so this is what we're going to do we're going to auto program again you'll see that the uh, next serial number is changing it's in incrementing and after programming the the device ser serialization field that gets updated with whatever is read back during the verification process so as you see now whereas previously we programmed uh, index 44 for the serial number now it's 45 and the label stays the same as it's supposed to the type of memory protection that we're going to enable here is a simple write protect and we will, st we will be able to see that what it will, will do is when enabled it will block the ability to erase or write to specific pages so let's reprogram the chip with those option bytes same process as before now if we try to erase it will fail as intended and because the erase failed the chip is not blank now uh, we can reset everything to factory con conditions by clicking the clear lock device button which does a factory erase and now we can do the regular auto program step which succeeds because the chip is reset now that's our whole demo for this uh, chip let us know if there's any other tutorial videos you would like us to do maybe uh, some other processor or something with the uh, DLL demos or if you have any opinions or comments on this video let us know by emailing us at support at elpertronic.com thank you very much bye